He jumped off mountains hundreds of times before, but this is the takeoff Jeff Sanderfer will never forget. Oh, he dropped something. Moments after his launch in Aspen, something was wrong with the equipment. Oh, guys, his shoot's out. Causing Sanderfer to fall 100 feet into the mountain. I knew then what was about to happen, and I thought this is going to hurt. Effectively, no survival rate for a fall from that, from that high. So many things had to happen perfectly for Sanderfer to share this story today. I had this incredible feeling of calm. And, you know, as a Christian, I thought, I'm about to see God and I'm about to see Jesus. Not only did he survive, but he could wiggle his toes on the mountain. Not knowing at the time, he shattered his back and broke his neck. It took rescue crews over an hour to carry him down. He was brought to St. Anthony Hospital in Lakewood, more than 100 miles away. Moving his legs and having full neurologic function was certainly a surprise. Jason McGowan was Sandifer's doctor, who believes his patient is extremely fortunate to be walking again. I think if you show his scans to 100 doctors and you ask them what's the anticipated neurologic exam, most people would think that he would be out in his legs and, his, and with sensation and motor. Sandifer spent eight days in the ICU before he flew back home to Texas. Oh, it's only been 12 weeks later. I'm back flying airplanes. I'm running uh, four or five miles a day. I'm lifting weights. This father feels grateful to be with family and lucky for the life he still gets to live. I often wondered what it would be like in those last moments of life. And the thing I will take away from it is just that feeling of peace. Kelly Rinke, Nine News.